1996, Bill Gates said, content is king. And boy, was he right. Three decades later, it still occupies the throne. For lawyers, law firms, and companies serving the legal industry, content marketing and thought leadership marketing are a must if they want to build their books of business or increase their revenues. Hi, I'm Wayne Pollock. I'm a former AmLaw50 senior associate who discovered the world of content marketing and thought leadership marketing and hasn't looked back. In each episode of this podcast, I interview lawyers and legal industry in-house marketers who are doing big things with their content marketing and thought leadership marketing. This is Legally Contented. Hi, and welcome to Legally Contented. I am your host, Wayne Pollock. Thanks for joining me on this episode number one. This is the welcome episode. This is the origin story episode. This is whatever you want to call it episode, but this is numero uno. And the point of this episode is for me to give you an idea of who I am and why I think you should listen to this podcast, why I think you should subscribe to this podcast, why I think you should tell all of your colleagues about this podcast and what is in it for you, dear listener, when you download this podcast and give it a listen. I am a former AmLaw50 senior litigation associate. I was at Deckert in Philadelphia for six and a half years from 2010 until 2016, graduated law school in 09. And in case you're curious, I was deferred with a bunch of other associates across the legal industry during the Great Recession. We should have graduated in May 09 and started work at our law firms in October, but we all graduated in May and didn't start for many of us until the following year at some point, 2010. Prior to going to Deckard, I was at Georgetown Law. And then prior to Georgetown Law, I worked in public relations for four years at a PR and advertising firm in Southern New Jersey. I currently run a content strategy and ghost writing service for big law and boutique law firms and companies that serve the legal industry. That company is the law firm editorial service. I am launching this podcast legally contented because I am fascinated by the world of content marketing and thought leadership marketing and I'm really fascinated by the way that law firms and their lawyers and organizations that serve the legal industry can use content marketing and thought leadership marketing as part of their marketing and business development slash sales efforts. We're in an era where content marketing and thought leadership marketing is really the primary way that professional services firms like law firms and Firms that serve professional services firms like e-discovery companies or uh, legal AI companies or what have you, it's the primary way that these firms and individuals at those firms can show off their knowledge and their insights and their wisdom about areas of the law or areas of law firm management like e-discovery. It's a way to show off their knowledge and their expertise and their wisdom to potential clients and potential referral sources on top of their already current clients and their previous clients and their current and previous referral sources. We are in an era where it is very easy to publish this kind of content, whether it is a blog, articles in third-party publications such as industry publications, client alerts, white papers, podcasts, videos, you name it. There's no shortage of ways and methods to publish thought leadership marketing and content marketing materials, which means it's an awfully crowded space. It is very hard to stand out from the crowd because the crowd is doing the same things. They're writing client alerts. They're writing blog posts. They are usually talking in the same style. It's difficult to stand out from the crowd. And what I'm hoping to do with this podcast is to provide value to you, the listener, and your colleagues by interviewing lawyers, in-house marketers at law firms, and in-house marketers at companies that serve the legal industry to get a sense of what are best practices for content marketing and thought leadership marketing in the legal industry. Who are the people and companies doing big things with their content marketing and thought leadership marketing efforts, regardless of the uh, uh, format that 
that content takes. Again, video, uh, written content, audio content, whatever. Who are doing big things and what nuggets and lessons can you take away from them so you can do a better job of your own content marketing, thought leadership marketing, or your firm, your company can do a better job based on what you're learning from this podcast. There are a number of definitions of content marketing that you're going to find out there and definitions of thought leadership. I would like to limit the definition of content marketing for our purposes of this podcast as basically any content. So I'm limiting it, but I'm also making it quite broad. Any content that builds awareness and affinity among a law firm's target audiences, a company's target audiences, a lawyer's target audiences through written, visual, or audio content that conveys knowledge, wisdom, and or personality. I think it's important that I mention personality because people and businesses tend to hire people that they know, they like, and they trust. And being able to give a sense of your personality through your content marketing or your thought leadership marketing really helps you move that needle of of the like factor. People can know you, they can trust you because you seem authoritative, but to get them to like you requires you to act a certain way, communicate in a certain way that gives off warmth, gives off maybe charisma and makes people want to subscribe to your podcast or read your blog because they get good vibes from you. They get some kind of formality, they feel familiar and, and they want familiarity is the word I'm looking for. And they want to get more of that and, and get to know you because you are making an effort to put yourself out there. And I'll just add this. There's a lot of talk about what is thought leadership, what isn't thought leadership. For our purposes, I'm not going to stick to a tight definition. I do think thought leadership typically lends itself to the kinds of content where you are attempting to see around corners. You are attempting to forecast trends. You're attempting to talk about what's next. That doesn't always happen cleanly when we're talking about the legal industry and the law. You know, you can try to forecast what's going to happen based on a federal appellate court decision or a state or federal Supreme Court decision, but it's very different than like forecasting trends in the construction industry space or you know forecasting technological innovations in the next five years. It's got a different vibe to it, but I do think thought leadership is something that people can attempt to seek out and, and fulfill through their content in the legal industry. It's just not as clean as, as it might look in other industries. If you know people who are doing big things with their thought leadership marketing and content marketing, in the legal industry, people who are either colleagues at your law firm, colleagues at your organization, or people you know in your network, please, by all means, drop us a line, hello at legallycontented.com, hello at legallycontented.com, and let us know. And I'll be happy to talk to them and see if they uh, are doing the kind of big things that, that we want to feature on this podcast. We are all about informing the legal industry and really doing something that as of this podcast launching is something that I don't see many other, if any other podcasts doing, which is really focus and nerd out, if you will, on content marketing and thought leadership marketing in the legal industry. This show is for big law and boutique law firm attorneys and in-house marketers, as well as in-house marketers at organizations serving the legal industry. I hope that the interviews I have On this podcast, interviews of lawyers, of in-house marketers at law firms, and of in-house marketers at organizations serving the legal industry will provide you with knowledge and insights that you can put to work in your own everyday life as a lawyer, as an in-house marketer at a law firm or an uh, organization serving the legal industry. My hope is that we'll start off publishing twice a month, and uh, if I can get a critical mass of people to speak with, and there's interest from the audience and interest from people wanting to speak with me, that this will become a weekly podcast, but I'm thinking that we'll start with twice a month, and we'll just go from there. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Legally Contented. 
If you have any feedback, any comments, any suggestions for guests, please email us at hello at legallycontented.com. Hello at legallycontented.com. Until next time, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.